Hey, we are so evenly yeah, matched. Yeah, yeah. 60 right away. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Today it's Chevy versus Ford, good old American V8 versus brand new American EV. What are you driving, Ryan? I'm driving a four-door family SUV. That sounds like it's gonna have a tough time against this mid-engine sports car. Well, I left out that it's a GT Performance. It has 480 horsepower, 634 pound-feet of torque, and it's going to all four wheels. You know, you make a good point. Uh, this Corvette, however, has 495 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque, and it is way, 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 way lighter than your Mach-E GT Performance, and it launches really well. So I'm curious to see how you're gonna do, and I'm curious to see how I'm gonna do, but mostly I just don't wanna lose this race, so currently I hate your car. That's okay with me, let's hit it. The Corvette has taken on lots of competitors on the drag strip in our series. The M4 recently, it's taken on things like the GT500, the Tesla Model Y. Today, it's taken on that Mach-E. And if you want information on either one of these cars, click like and subscribe below, click the link in the description, and for a cash offer on your car today, go to edmunds.com slash sell my car. So, launching a Mustang Mach-E. Again, this is the GT version with the performance package upgrade. So we get extra torque and a couple of extra goodies as well. But one thing that we don't have is any kind of launch control system. Really all you do is put it into the most sporty mode that is unbridled. And then when you're ready, you stomp on the throttle as hard as you can and watch Travis disappear in your rearview mirror. One problem though, is that Ford says with the Mach-E GT, you get five seconds of full power. That's it. After that five seconds is up, the battery is going to hold back performance so that it doesn't degrade prematurely. That's gonna be a problem here because the Corvette is very, very fast. So to launch the Corvette, there's a couple of steps. It's not as simple as Ryan's Mustang over there. I have to obviously put it in drive and then I go over into track mode. There is sport, tour, my mode, snow, and then track finally over there all the way on the right. Double tap the traction control. Now, essentially what I have to do to launch it is bury my foot in the brake, hit the gas, it'll rev up to 2000 RPMs, and then it'll launch me. So I'll hope for the best. Uh, it does not like doing burnouts, and I don't wanna do a burnout because that'll lose me traction. I'm excited about this one. I think I'm gonna win. Driver's race in three. Need the launch of my life here. One, go. Oh, oh got him on the best launch. launch. We're up to 60 right away. <laughs> we are so evenly yeah, matched. It feels like that power's tailing off. Hit 90. That thing's gone. 100 across the finish line. Wow, that was really close. Got to 60 like that. Did not get to 100 like that. That was a close one, man. That was really good. I'm a little surprised, man. I didn't feel like I got the best start. Um, and I, I thought you were just gonna run away and it was definitive, but it, it wasn't a blowout. Yeah, it wasn't a blowout at all. It took almost half of the quarter mile, you know, the eighth of the mile to actually pull away from you on there and get into the high horsepower band on this one. This thing launches really, really well. I mean, for something with just the rear wheels being driven, how'd that one feel? You know, I got up to 60 in like an instant and then I kind of started to crawl to 100. I hit the line at 100. So do you feel like going again? You think you have a chance? You, you want to get a better launch? I think I can do better, and let's just see what happens. All right, so drag race number two. Uh, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to change nothing at all because I won last time. I'm going to hope he doesn't have a better reaction. Mash the brake, mash the throttle, rev up to 2,000 RPM, take off. Travis has a pretty sweet sound coming out of that Corvette. I have zero sound whatsoever. So this time I'm gonna turn on propulsion sound just to give you guys a little extra symphony. I might not win, but at least I'll sound good doing it. Race in three, two, one, go. Here we go. Oh no, he beat me again. We're close though. I think I might have left the line a little early, but oh, I don't care. I'm still gonna win. Yes, and across the line, 113 miles an hour. That is a nice little top speed there. Ooh. I didn't think this was gonna be this close at all. It felt pretty good. 
did I leave early or is it just my imagination? No, I think you nailed it. I, I wanted to feel guilty, but I, I also don't feel guilty because I won. No, you shouldn't. I thought I got a pretty good start that time and, and you just you just got a better one. I mean, this thing is just, it's so consistent. It's so easy. You just mash the brake, then mash the throttle. It revs up to 2000. You let it let off and it goes. It wants to launch well without wheel spin. It's not like our long-term GT500 at all, where it wants to spin the tires just to make you laugh. It's, this thing is a missile. No, that's a really, really good launch for a rear wheel drive car. Um, but what does it feel like once you're going? Because it's not, it's not jumping out and pulling away right away. It's kind of jumping out and then building consistently. Yeah, honestly, like it's just, it's the, the power. I mean, I can't wait to get the, behind the wheel of a Z06 with the 5.5 liter, the, the flat plane crank, and that thing's 670 horsepower. You know, this is 495 with the performance pack and it's a lot and it launches really well and the weight balance is good and it's, you know, low to the ground. It, it really knows how to do that but it does feel like in a straight line, you know, something like the GT500 is, it's more dramatic. It's more, uh, you know, there's more theater to it. This just feels like I'm kind of a cog in the wheel. We're gonna need Ford to take the reins off of this one to compete with that Z06 or a Mach-E Shelby. In light of the fact that we don't have a Mach-E Shelby currently available to us, what do you say about a, a roll race? We go 30 miles an hour, see which one of us comes out on top? I mean, totally. I didn't expect the, the regular drag to go the way that it's gone, so let's see what happens on the roll. All right, I'm in. Let's do it. All right, for the roll-on race, uh, no foot in the brake, obviously. Uh, I'm going to try and shift gears this time. Go manual mode here. Keep it in a low gear so it doesn't drop down during the roll race. And then take off. All right, guys, you ready? Ready when you are. Let's do this, Ryan. Get it up to 30. Keep it in manual mode. Okay. Second gear. Not getting a lot of help here. The propulsion sound didn't help me at all. So I'm gonna come up with something else instead. Try not to jump the line. Still wanna see the camera results from that last time. Catch me now, Travis. Oh, he took off early. He took off early. Ah, turns out cheating wins. He's gaining, but it's not going to be enough. Oh, oh so close! Oh, <laughs> oh, I lost, but he cheated. Oh, cheating. so close. Very much cheating. I cheated so hard. What's it feel like to be a dirty, rotten cheater? It doesn't feel that different from losing three times in a row, so I'm okay with it. Yeah, I mean... Uh, I guess now I know what the back of your car looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so he jumped the line there, uh, which was fun. Almost caught you. I think if we had a little bit more road ahead of us, I would have caught you that time. Uh, I, I'm really interested to see the photo finish on that one. But you did cheat, so we're going to call that a loss, right? Oh, for sure I lost. Yeah. But it was really, really close. And again, like I could see you coming, but it was, it was slow, it was slow, it was slow. And then it was boom, freight train. Yeah, I think uh, looking at the track test results, we're going to see the difference in trap speed between these two, and it's going to be pretty big. So, how did these two do back at the test track? Well, the Corvette is faster all around, from 0 to 60 and in the quarter mile. Getting a launch in the Corvette isn't nearly as hard as it is in some front-engine sports cars like the GT500, so it's easier to match or beat something like the Mach-E, even though it's got all-wheel drive. Also, it doesn't hurt that the Chevy weighs half a ton less than the Ford. It should be noted though, the Ford's stopping power is incredible. With the upgraded tires on the GT Performance model, the Mach-E stopped from 60 miles an hour in just 106 feet. That's an incredibly short distance. And while the Corvette beat it by five feet, something around the 100 foot mark is really reserved for high-end sports cars. That impressed us back at the track. But my question is, which one would you rather spend your $60,000 on, your, your hard-earned Gapplebee's money? That's tough, man. I like. I like the Mach-E GT a lot, um, only giving me five seconds of power. I understand Ford has its reasons. That's kind of tough, man. And at this price, you can get supercar looks and a mid-engine layout. That's, that's tough. 
Yeah, it's, it's tough for me too, but you have kids and I don't need a back seat, so I'm gonna go with the Corvette. She can fit in the frunk. All right, you're gonna, you're gonna strap your Recaro child seat to the frunk <laughs> of the Corvette and put your kid in it. On that up note, we're gonna end this one. Thanks for watching. If you wanna see more drag races, click like and subscribe below. Let us know what you wanna see us race next time. We appreciate it.